Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, the postman has just squished this parcel through the letterbox and there is quite a bit in it so it must have taken him quite a while to do. <laughs> Feel at least one, two things in it. So let's get into it and have a look and see what we've got. Hope everybody's doing okay today. Uh, it's quite nice and bright and sunny, although it is still very, very cold here in the UK. Right. Oh, oh, okay. So we've got one. Two parcels. Let's see what we've got, you know, what they are, or where they've come from. So we'll have a look together and see what we've got. So let's have a look at the little teeny tiny one first and see what this is. A quick open up. Oh, this one has been opened. I think it's got a little bit of solid tape on there. It's tight in there. Let's see, check there's nothing left. Nope. Put that one out of the way a moment. Okay. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I'm pleased this has come. I've got this one for smashing the specials for February with Mindy's Diamond Moment and the Angie the Craftnado. So we have a basic toolkit and a little green boat with a little square of wax, a pink pen and those funny tweezers. Sorry, my mind wandered a little bit then because I was just thinking, can I ever think of anything else I could use those tweezers for? I will come up with something one day, but yeah, they're, they're not great. They don't hold very well. Um, but yeah, they are what they are. Hey ho. So this is a special drill painting. But look at that. How gorgeous is that? And I just thought, yeah, I'm going to have to have that, a lovely fairy castle. I can see that on quite a few different little girls' uh, bedroom walls. So that's just, and some big girls' bedroom walls as well. I am partial to a little bit of a uh, princessing. And that sparkle, I think this will look lovely. Okay. It is a partial diamond painting. Um, just give those corners a little bit of a squish down. There's quite a few creases in this, I think you can see there. Um, yeah, it will need to have a really, really good flatten. But, uh, with partials, what I find is if you don't get them really, really flat before you do them, once you put the gems on, you still end up with like the creases where there is no gems. So it's best to get them as flat as possible um, before you start working on them. You know, leave them maybe a couple of days under something heavy, uh, your portfolio or some books. Or I actually have quite like a big A1 folder that I put between my mattresses. Uh, and believe me, I am very heavy to be laying on top of it. So it definitely flattens down. <laughs> but look at that. Is that not just magical? And we've got like a firework going off here as well. And looks like we've got a couple of stars, look, with the special drills. Oh, oh I'm so pleased this came. Um, the actual tracking, it is from AliExpress, and the actual tracking on this was telling me that it was going to be uh, towards the end of February it was going to come. So whether they've got a new tactic now that's actually saying that... Uh, things are going to take longer so when they arrive quickly you aren't so disappointed i'm not quite sure so this one is from the house mall store um on aliexpress and it cost me three pounds 89 pence no i didn't use any coupons or anything because i just fell in love with this picture so i'm gonna have to do that uh and I actually ordered it on the 8th of January and it's the 22nd of January today. So that's what, just over two weeks. That's pretty good going for it to arrive here. Quite pleased with that. Okay. Now then, let's have a look at these gems. Uh, as I say, it is a partial. And that means that the background here, there's no gems, no diamonds, no drills on any of the background. It is just the castle and these like starry bits that I've, have got the diamond painting in. It would probably look quite pretty actually if you put 
a row of diamonds all the way around the edge, just plain silver diamonds. I might do that right the way around the edge just to frame it. Um, you can use your magic glue or special glue or um, even your sealer. If you do seal your paintings, then if you just put a very thin line of sealer along and put gems into your sealer, it will actually stick them to your canvas. So just a few options there. Um, just looking, I think these here along the bottom, there are no gems on that bit there either. So I may be inclined to put gems there and I don't think that tree has any. So I'll probably add some there as well to balance that out because we've got a tree here that has gems and a tree here that hasn't. So I think I'll probably balance that out with that. But yeah, I think a border would look better on this. So I'll have a go at doing that. But oh, just fell in love with it as well. Um, the bits that are like on the roof here, you could put some like glitter glue or something like that which again would just add a little bit more sparkle or even possibly just put some little stars if you've got any um, clear gem stars left over the really small ones just put those in the background as well just to break up that darkness there I think that would just all add to this picture but if you just want to do it as it is and just put the gems on that you've got then that's fine as well it's your picture and it's up to you what you do Into these gems. Have a look. So we just have eight different ones and pretty clear key code there. Just one little teeny tiny one at one side, but to be fair, this isn't going to take a huge amount of doing. There are quite a few gems on the castle itself, but you know, it is oh, it's so pretty. So let's have a oh, look at these colours. Wow, wow start at this end so all these aqua blues are just going to look real icy and cool and another blue there and that's like a grey colour so rather than have any black it's just got like a grey to uh, highlight the edges and just to bring the colour down a little bit and then we've got some of your plain silver plain silver a little bit bigger and then there's silver ones that have got like the star stamped in the middle and they've got an A, B, Aurora Borealis coating and then oh look at those big they're actually like a cabochon um, there's no facets whatever in those they're like an oval shape so oh where do they go then let's have a look great so we've definitely got one there can we see any more eights oh that's B so have the centres, ooh, have the centres, what, two, four, six, and we only need one. Ooh, that's very generous, I like that. Yeah, it looks like there's only one of those. Oh, well, we've definitely got a few spare there, I do like those. Uh, yeah, I think I can find a few uses for those. Okay, so that's my lovely little fairy castle. Oh, it makes me want to be a little girl again. <laughs> All with my pigtails. Oh, oh, that's great. Love that one. Okay, so let's see what is in the other package. Right, again. So if this has come from AliExpress, there could be um, one of two things in here. So we'll have a look and see. Okay, get this out. And have a look. <gasps> Gold tweezers, gold tweezers. Oh, I love the gold tweezers. I must, I still haven't got the pink tweezers yet. I will get some pink tweezers, but at the moment, oh, have a look at that in a moment. So, what is this? Oh, this is my custom. Oh, wow. Gosh, this hasn't taken hardly any time at all. Okay. So, again, I've used coupons on this. It's from AZQSD, which is where I've had custom uh, paintings from before. I'm just trying to think, when did I order this? Let me just have a look. Yeah, I ordered this on the 7th of January. So, again, this has taken what, just over two weeks to come for a custom painting. I know it's only small, but it's still a custom painting. It still takes the time to do. 
and this one cost me using AliExpress coins two pounds and seventy three pence. It is only a small one, but I think you can see there I've done like an abstract um, painting of one of my photographs, and that is Millie uh, looking out of her friend Buster's kennel. <laughs> We went round uh, to my friend's house and uh, Millie's friend Buster has a lovely kennel in the garden um, that if it gets too warm he goes in there to stop him getting sunburnt and uh, yeah she decided she was going to take it over as she does because she's just a little madam. <laughs> wow 20 by 30 and we have 29 colours so let's get this canvas out and have a look. I do like AZ QSD. Um, this is, as I say, the second custom I've had from them. I know I've only done sort of small ones, but they do send you, once you've sent your photograph off, they do send you a mock up of what it will look like before they send you it. So, you know, even only spending this amount of money, they've spent the time to do a mock up of my canvas and send it through and let me see what it is. And what it will look like and once you've agreed to it then they will do it and send it out let's say a fortnight to get a customs amazing i'm very impressed so we have the long canvas with the big key code or the wide key code it's quite small to see uh, and then the floppy bit on this end as they always do uh, just a smaller version really of the 30 by 40 ones that if you've seen my unboxings recently that's what they come with we've got az qsd up there i am so i have been impressed in the past it is a squares as well the drills are all squares and the last one i did i really enjoyed doing uh and we am getting used to squares i am finding that particularly with customs i don't think i'll ever go back to doing round customs anymore i do prefer the squares you get more detail and more consistency of color and everything um, on the picture I've got a foam roller I don't know why I'm holding that talking to you <laughs> like a conductor <laughs> so let's just put that paper out of the way look at that a lovely inventory sheet as well that's great but yeah they've rendered that really well for me um, on the pit on the um, picture that they sent through for me to approve so we've got DMC codes as well there are quite a few strange symbols but you tend to find if you use similar manufacturers or the same manufacturers, then you do get used to what symbols are and used to using them. I'm just looking at the colours. It looks like number 20 um, is 1,545 drills there. So that's, uh, we'll see what colour that one is. That one's, oh, it's 939. So yeah, I'm sat looking at it here. Do you know my brain's just not thinking today, is it? <laughs> I wasn't expecting any parcels today and I think I'm just overly excited about Princess Castles and now getting a Millie to do as well. I do like doing my little Millie move. Okay, so let's just fold this back. It's in two pieces, which I don't like, but we'll see how we go. Let's make sure that this, we just get the uh, cover sheet up and not the glue from the double-sided tape underneath. That's the one thing, it is double-sided tape. But again, you know, I'm getting used to using that. Sorry about that. Um, I must have moved my table and my little Scotty Dog stapler just decided to uh, jump off the desk. <laughs> Frighten me to death. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so yeah, there's a little Millie Moo. Uh, so it's an abstract painting, so it makes it bigger lines and uh, not quite so much small detail but I think you'll agree that that has come out pretty well on the actual uh, canvas so we'll see what it looks like when we get the drills on it but that I mean there's so many different colours in this it's gonna really stand out and it will go next to the other one that I've got so this is the second one that I've done um, of Millie in this style of painting so I quite like uh, that's the rendering of it that's uh, that's the little thumbnail that I sent them and then this is what they've sent through but yeah 
that is really good that is really clear the canvas there isn't a wrinkle or a bubble or anything on this canvas that looks really good <sighs> heck when i'm going to get around to doing this one i don't know but it is only small so it's a case of you know fitting it in um but it won't take me long to do either because i am a lot faster now doing squares i think it's a case of just keep it's practice like anything else it's practice and if you get a reasonable quality and you get you know a nice picture i think if it's a picture that you really want to do as well then you enjoy doing it a lot more but yeah look at that that back not one crease or crinkle or anything on there right let's have a quick look at these drills then 29 colors um i think it does measure true to size as well they tend to on a double-sided tape one for some reason so we are oh it's just 29 there so we've lost oh it is it's just 29 there so we've just lost one centimeter there um on that picture i am going from the dark edges there and it's 19 so we've just lost one centimeter around the edge there but that's fine by me so i don't tend to get too hung up i mean if i ordered um say a 30 by 40 canvas and it came this size then i probably would be a little bit miffed but on the whole you know when you're just losing a couple of centimeters here and there i'm not too fussed as long as i can get it put in a frame doesn't make any difference to me how i diamond paint it so let's have a look at these drills <laughs> where's the end where's the end <laughs> okay right goodness me so it's got quite a few different colours you do get lots of nice shading on these as well so you get that little bit of depth of colour and yeah they're all squares they're all numbered bags and the dmc coats are on the bags as well which always helps oh we've got one little escapee there and i won't go through them too much because they are in the baggies and they're not quite as easy to show but i think you can get the gist of the colors of these okay little pinks there nice rosy color so we'll get quite a few pops oh dark dark purple look at that one that looks good okay and your dark brown and that looks like it's your 939 yeah i don't think we've got any 310s in this no nope, there's no 310s in this either so 939 is your dark color for your background okay there's a lovely lilac colour there. And I've just dropped that one somewhere and it's disappeared. Oh, it's gone right over there, look. Don't be losing them. Oh, I can't be doing losing them. <laughs> okay, just flatten those down a bit. I will put them back in. I'll uh, do my inventory and make sure I've got them all there. But yeah, I think. Very, very impressed. It looks like the other one that I got, and that works out really well. I will put a little picture of it. So you can see what my last one looked like. It is framed on, on my Scotty wall now, so yeah. And then just finally with the tool kit, which is the standard AZQSD tool kit, which I get into. There you are. With the gold tweezers and it's like a brushed gold and it just really really oh, I love my tweezers and you've got your sparkly clear pen with your cushion grip and I think that's a four placer yep and I think we decided that that was a ten placer on the last one yep and that's a ten placer and they are the thin ones there so easier to use and do like a four squares of wax a big plate of wax and your white boat which has quite a high sides so if you're shaking your drills you tend to find that the higher the sides the less likely they are to jump out 
well that's the theory i can still manage to throw them all over the place but hey how that's just me okay so that's today's little uh, delivery so we have a beautiful princess castle and a lovely little millie moo right well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me bit of a surprise for me hopefully for you too uh if you have enjoyed seeing them if you can give me a thumbs up it's always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see more see what i get up to next if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it you'll be notified when my next video has come out so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i hope to see you all again soon bye for now